I'm annoyed. I just woke up and I always miss breakfast. This is day two of me missing breakfast. Oh my god. That in me, I me no care. It's your boy JJ REV to the hello and and I'm back with another vlog because I'm a vlogger. Um, documenting this one was a bit hard. We're gonna wait for the Look lights. lights. I think that was for the Queen. So this one was a bit hard because. I don't like cold. Like, when it's cold, I have a breakdown. Like, I had a little fun in Amsterdam and that was like a key, like, oh, it's raining. <laughs> Finland, not a joke. Finland's not a joke. Like, when I got a message saying, from the promoter saying, hey, JJ, like, where, you know, bring a, bring a coat, you know, I could pull back out my you know, my turtlenecks and, you know, this, that and the other, which was like amazing idea. But then when I landed, it was a different idea. It was cold. And yeah, it's, it was fucking cold. Um, yeah, it was just cold as hell. Um, other than that, Finland was like super nice. It was beautiful. It was lovely, 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 lovely. So I landed in Finland, um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just walking through the airport. Finland airport is very efficient, love it. Uh, you have to take all your stuff out of your bag, you have to do anything like this. So that was actually quite amazing. Met my promoter, met the promoter Samuel Lee, um, the 007 Angels, um, and then when they put uh, you know, half of Europe, basically, for I did more in the US. And we got to our hotel, the hotel room was so fab, like. So we're gonna see my room. Just giving that, like that. It's a bit messy, because I've been doing the damn thing. Let's brighten this. All the lights. Oh. So we got the bathroom. Yes, stunning. And we've got this little bidet thing, which is hilarious. And this is the mirror, the bar. Then you've got a lot of drinks handy down here, hun. Right there, it's the bedroom. That's the view. View of the city. Yeah, stunning. Rain shower, how I like it. It was like lovely, like moody gold dark tones in the room. I had a city, city facing room. So I faced the city, I was right by the station. It was super great and nice. And yeah, it was so cute. Um, loved it, loved it, loved it. So we both missed breakfast. This is Gabby from Harlan. Let me make it right there. Ah, let's dark it. This is Gabby from Harlan. We're giving, Not we missed breakfast, and now we have to, well, it was just a side, it was kind of blur. It's fine, girl, it's fine. But now we're going in the streets, which are empty. <laughs> and fucking always. Okay, yeah. little, little teaser three. Um, and then we went to my class, so class was really good. Did a little cut up.
and well before class like cut by myself you know I didn't get a lot of time by myself to uh, Vogue and shit like this and so a little cut is always really important for me to do before class or to do for myself when it comes um, but I do feel mashed up from doing that so class was super fun I ran them through my normal drills if you've ever been to my class you've done my Patreon class or, um, like you know my Patreon class is still up there so if you wanna <laughs> you can uh -huh. Um, get to the dandada but it was super fun to be able to teach in a country that is not mine also foreign and on top of it they're so like reserved like I Finnish people are like the most reserved I've probably known but then also they have these things which are called a sauna that they would all hang out at it was just like it's also so strange. This was in my hotel room. Hopefully I did a good video of this and I can show you here. But um, yeah, it was just, it's it's crazy how they're so reserved and they mind their own business. And you know, it was, it was, it was a great workshop. Then we had this amazing, not amazing, amazing. Let's be, uh, what, what does Dan say? Icon, let's be true foil. Okay, I had an um, amazing time at this talk with Stan and Lego. If you don't know who Lego is, Lego was featured in a previous video. They're a legend within the ballroom scene. Also runs an, uh, a ballroom night every Monday at Three Dollar Bill called OTA Mondays, and did the first one in Finland. <laughs> that but this um, talk was especially special because there was like a couple of notes that people spoke about which one was a question around realness which is a big question within our scene about realness as a category how you know how how it's kind of like it's been lost and missed um, in terms of like people that are realness because um, it's it's on the verge of like uh, push them to be like uh, in pushing them to be a way that they don't want to be and also it versus the in, are you real and boring are you if you're real and boring are you real in real life so there's a lot of things like this that happen and conversations like this have been happening over time about realness as a category if you don't know realness as a category it's a category that um, is about hyper femininity masculinity it's about um, passing but also what Lego said was uh, realness is one character and that um, that has been lost within our scene so realness is there's a difference between realness you know they have executive realness which everybody loves to say they have you know um, banshee girl a girl from the black they have you know you can do any theme lawyer post post person you know um bitch painter you know like the what's that what lego was saying is that realness we have forgotten the characters that we need to build around realness which is super important because saying having a category which is an example that they made was if you did a realness category and it was just coming red it's kind of like anti it's kind of like it's not making sense because the whole point of realness is about within a certain um within a certain theme you know, so I feel like I really want to bring that back within the boom team that having realness as a character because I've always seen it as a game and um, that was a lot, sorry, that's a lot what that was said is that boom is a game within our community and it's been taken to a point where it's so serious 
Anyway, I digress. So yeah, it's just, that was one big thing that came out of it. And the second one was, um, if you're, the second one was from Icon Stand, which was like, if you're not posing, you're simply not voguing. On the nose, it's the truth. Like, again, like talking about categories like real, not real, sorry, like new way and old way, We'll look at these categories where I saw a lot of, in the ball especially, and what I've seen over time, and I've always spoke about is that, like, when we say take your time, or adjust to take your time, some judges might say go slow, that's not for me, take your time is like, take your time, like, if you're gonna hit shit, like, go for it, like, take your time, you know, it doesn't mean go slower. You know, it doesn't mean that. But also, we are forgetting the person within these specific categories that all about that model of magazines and model of posing. So there was a lot of education around that, which was like super great. Um, also, another thing Icon Sun said, which is that, you know, New Age started to look like Tetris. And I'm a strong believer of that. Like, you know, I'm not gonna say other than my house, but other than my house. Um, uh, new way is a category that does have a lot of lines and you know people say boxes and structure this like this but you know look really look at the category new way. I think there's a page on Instagram somewhere that says like new way voguing or something like this I like posted videos about this and this is like super important that this page exists to be honest because we need to really like new way girls really need to you know be voguing not just hitting boxes and fitting the box in the tut, you know? We're not tutting, right? I would tut bigger, but it's cropped. Um, we're not tutting, and this is not Tetris, and yeah, we do, we, it's true what he's saying, like, and it's an icon saying this, and I'm, you know, I'm not, believe, I'm not saying it because it's an icon, but like, that is a real thing that I actually really feel like has been a big thing in the scene. We go to dinner in the evening, the food in Finland, no shade to the finish. I've got to be honest, I did a lot of research before going to, well, that's a lie. Why are you lying? I did some research on YouTube about where to go to Finland, what to eat, what to do, what to this, what to that. And you know what? It was all a lie. I went to a place called Hesburger, which is like the Burt McDonald's of that country. I'm sorry, not for me. I had a Caesar salad from the, and a piece of chicken from the supermarket. Not for me. I had, I ordered a kebab from this thing called Walt. It's like an app, it was mostly like Europe, I think. Um, not for me. Um, I tried to see the side of it again, somewhere else. Not for me. What the food that banged out of the out of the building was this one place next to the next to the OTA called Chili. Mistake. Chili was chili in. Like, it was very good. This was like the best. I had a dollar kebab and rice. Or chips, I can't remember. Oh, I did the video. But it was, you know, it was great, you know? And then I also, the food that they gave at the ball, there was this Thai food. Woo! I have to drink the water because it was so spicy. It gave me like PTSD. It was so spicy, but it was so good. I got duck with fried rice. I did not get content on that. I'm so sorry, but it was, it was fab, no shame. The food at the aftermath, this thing, amazing. What was so great about this food situation is, um, yeah, it was fooding at that time, but the blandness of finished food is beyond my struggle, beyond my people, beyond everything. Like, it is like the blandest thing I've ever heard of or, or paid at my anus for. Like I've never wanted to go to Burger King so hard in my life. But you know, overall, yeah, and everyone in the Finland says this, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit 
you know, it was like dry, like everyone knows it. Like Finnish people say the Finnish food is not good and this, that, the other, and it's just the truth. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But in Finland, they do have this pie thing, which is like got a custard, but it's heavy on the butter. It just tastes like butter. It just tastes like butter. It just tastes like butter. Apparently you have it with more butter. But I don't know how you put butter on butter. It's just, you know, high cholesterol in black people is very high. So we're not gonna do any of that. Um, the ball, the ball I did that was amazing. <laughs> such a great time it was such a good vibe it was great uh, I had to shout out to me 100 times because like do the whole weekend like this is very hard uh, it's very much like you know it's it's not the easiest thing to do and I just have to shout out that bitch for it because all of this could not happen so we give credit when the credit is due um, I actually got to record one of my real calls, so here you go. And all of this, again, would not be, uh, be able to happen without this person, as well as like the team of people that was around them that helped them that day, to the people who picked me up from the hotel to drop me back to the airport, to the lime scooter company working and not asking me for ID, to the lazy fox breakfast that I had, which was fucking amazing. Um, because that was the best food I had, like, being there off my own back. The rest was, like, paid for. Like, the bull stuff was all paid for. Um, to my to the panel of judges who I have not seen in Donkey's Year, some I saw before others. To my house father that I got to see. To my ex-members and my sisters that I got to see. To the whole scene of Finland that I got to see. I am truly thankful for the experience that I have had this weekend. It has opened my eyes to a scene that really strives just to be the best for themselves. It really is so good to see a community of people come together. Uh, it's very boring style, everyone is late. To uh, my cuckoo crazy girl, Miss Hard Candy. Like, to, to everyone that I got to fucking hang out with this whole weekend. To everyone that I got to hang out with. Like, I am so happy I got to do this and was so happy that I got picked to do this. And it's so crazy and I'm grateful. Next on the list, next I'm going to Berlin. So, Berlin, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be, I'm gonna hopefully vlog as much as I can. I am doing a back to back. I am working, 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 working. And so yeah, I'm excited and I will see Y'all soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. We did, you know, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, you know, good, good coochie course. And I bid you a dot in your eye. Look here.